Welcome back. This is going to be a short video, but it is an important one because I'm going to show you how you save your game in a way that other people can look at it. Um, I'm on the uh, website, but it seems to be exactly the same on the if you've downloaded the program. So uh, I'm here on uh, the Twine website, twinery.org, and I choose Use in your browser, and it takes me to a list of stories. Of course, we've got only one. So we go into the story, and we choose Build, and then we choose Publish to File. Now, I'm using a Mac, and so it automatically downloads it into my Downloads folder. Um, you may find that it does that on a PC, or you may find that it asks you where you want to save it. But anyway, we'll get out of the web browser and go to Downloads, and we see a new file there. Oop. Sorry, I did that a bit. I did that a bit quickly. I'll do it again. We go down there. We see a new file called the Bridge, which of course is the name of our story. I'm going to put that on the desktop, and then let's open that with Chrome and we see that we have exactly the same story that we've been making. So you could, for example, email that HTML file to someone and then they could just open it um, and it would open in whatever web browser they have. You could also upload it to the internet and because it's a HTML file and HTML files are the sort of the format for sort of basic web pages, I suppose. Um, if you upload it to a particular address, anyone who goes to that address will see the game. Will we'll get to play the game. It um, doesn't require any special um, formatting or anything to make it um, ready to be on the web, which is one of the big advantages of Twine. Now, the story that I've got here doesn't have any files other than the game file itself. In particular, I'm not using pictures and I'm not using sounds. Uh, if you're making an extensive game that you sort of want to share with other people and perhaps even, you know, sell, um, you really probably would have pictures and uh, sounds. And that makes it a little bit more complicated. You've got to keep everything together. Um, but we'll get into that once I start teaching you how to use pictures, which will probably be the next thing that I get onto. But for now, um, that's the, it's just build and export and then you have a file. So it's, it's very straightforward. And uh, I hope I will see you next time.